I just got kicked off course right when I'm going about to deliver this word. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. Well, I hope everyone will come back on. Um, out of these separations, God brought life. I want you to realize that right now, that these boundaries, okay, what I was just saying was, of course, God brought life. And that is what is going to happen through these created boundaries, through these separations of what he has just separated, the three categories that we just said. He's going to bring life, abundant life. And that's what we're going to see now in this day. After we have endured what we are enduring, um, the stay in place. I don't know if some of you saw a few uh, days ago, the Lord said, stay in praise <laughs> instead of saying, stay in place, stay in praise. Um, and after, after these things, after what we've gone through is done, he will accomplish life for us. And, um, I just wanted to bring that today as the encouraging word that God has for us today. The thing that I wanted to take us to take away from our study today is what you're saying when you say God bless you to someone that you're asking God to give them favor and success and everything that abundance that they will need that in order that they can bless others and that God will raise them up. That's what you're saying. But the second thing I wanted to bring today was to tell you that these boundaries, these isolations, stay in place, whatever you want to call it, um, out of them will yield the fruit like we see here on the fourth day of life growing on the land of life. And you know what? It will be new. It will be new life that will grow into the land, just like on day four here. And so God blessed this. He saw it was beautiful and he said, reproduce and be fruitful. Fill the waters of the sea with life and the earth with flying birds. And so I'm just saying today that we are declaring as a people that when we are free of this isolation, separation, these imposed boundaries, God himself is going to breathe life into our land again. Just like on day four, God himself is going to bring about newness of life, just like we expect in the springtime. And newness thing, the newness will grow. And I just want to um, just say here in Daniel 12, um, verse three, I want to bless you with this verse. We were just reading about how he threw the stars into the sky. And sometimes when we read about the stars in the word, it's talking about individuals. He's um, comparing different people and what their assignments are in the earth. He's comparing them to the stars in the sky. And I want to read this over you today. And I want you to think about it today. If you could look it up yourself. Daniel 12, 3. I'm saying this first, I'll read it, and then I'm going to say it over you. Those who are wise will shine like the brightness of the heavens, and those who lead many to righteousness like the stars forever and ever. So today I just declare over you that you are wise that you have the wisdom of the Lord and you have the righteousness of Christ. And because of that, you shine like the brightness of the heavens and you lead many into righteousness and you are like the stars forever and ever. And God sees you. He loves what he sees. He calls you blessed and beautiful. You are blessed, you are wise, you are righteous, and you are beautiful. As you stay in place, anticipate the season that is coming next, which is when the earth will be full of his glory and new growth will, will occur. All right. I love you all and... 
I think that's it. Have a good Friday. Yeah. Bye.